Hello everyone, I'm going to be making a video on Gmod Dark Art P building a secure base for your printers and all that. I will be using this building in Dark Art P V2. This one. And I'm going to close that and lock myself in. So these are the props you'll be using using the these are the main props I might have to add in some a couple more during the tutorial this is going to be very long so get prepared yeah okay so you're gonna wanna you need you might wanna have stacker if you don't have stacker you can use precision move and that would take a lot longer though but it would still work I'll be using stacker, I'll be using precision, I'll be using mm, no collide, probably some to remove for fading door and money pot. Money pot if you want to like make it to where people, if it's like a gun shop, but you can configure that. First things first, you can use shift E to straighten it up, and if you hold it, it'll snap to positions. You can hold E and it'll slowly move it like that. But shift E is what you'll be using the most. You first want to start off by putting this right here, right on the edge of it, right on the edge, and it's being glitchy for some reason, like perfectly. And if you can't get it perfect, like I can't, I want to pull out the precision oh, wait. okay there okay now it's pretty much straight what's that come from okay and you just want to push it right into where it's like kind of smooth like that you want to pull your stacker out go left oh Prop right in here you can see there's these you want to put this one oh, left see how that's there's space so most servers it has it as one but you can put it as negative one and that'll fix your issue wait what oh sorry there it, this one's negative one keep this to zero they're a little glitchy sometimes. See how there's no crack in the middle? That's how we want it. And you can pull that out three and then in the side. And if you want to find these, this one's in general and right there. The two by two one. And the space will be very good as long as you have to have you have to have a gun two three four and see how it's wait. it's basically perfect yeah they're the same and then you want to do the same thing with the stacker you might have to do this yeah that's what I assumed so now that these are done you want to take this and you this is where the precision is going to come handy. Move and snap. Change to put that to one. I don't know if it matters. But whatever. And then you want to. Whenever you look at it, you'll see these. And if you click R or no E, it'll snap to one of them. And you want to go for the middle one right there. And put it right there. Very useful for precise snaps. I think I want to do it again on this one. Don't worry if they don't equal up together. It's, that's like how it looks doesn't really matter. And you can move it with the mouse like that. Okay. You you see how this is like this? We're pretty much just gonna block all of this off, and then prop block that because it has that one entrance, and there it is. Now what you want to do is you want to. Now I have the basic layout of it, but now we want to make it a lot more secure. So you want to put this to prop and 
put that to zero and then you'll put this to one or negative one. And this has to go down, doesn't it? What? You have to just toy around. Behind? Yeah, okay. You know, so if it's behind, I'm gonna put that as one. It's probably a glitch to to what's your negative one? A lot of servers have buggy versions of Stacker. I think all versions of it's buggy. You just want to stack them all up to where people can't jump over from here. Okay, and we're good now. And before we continue, we're going to put a floor. I like servers like this because they don't no glide everything, so it's it goes right into the corner. And this is a great way for stacker. But what I do is I disable collisions, disable collisions, like that. It saves a lot more time. So my dogs are being loud, but that's all good. Just ignore it. can't really do anything. So now this is all smooth, except for one part. There. So now it feels smooth. The reason we're doing this is we're gonna black it. We're gonna make it all black. So people, pretty much so people can't see. Because all they're gonna see is black. We're also gonna do the same thing to the roof, so be prepared for that. I also want to do it right here. We're also going to do it right on the door. And we're going to no collide that. And I'm having a power surge right now. Okay, you guys. So I'm back. Okay, we're just going to finish this right here. Trying to get it as much as possible in there. Yeah, that should be good. I'm just gonna add this last one for the. What am I lagging on? Nothing, okay. What? It's weird. I'm lagging a bit because what's my ping where I'm at? 60, 70, 20. Okay, and then we're gonna have a go. So now we have the floor done. So pretty much this is what it's gonna look out look like. We have to have the color, put it to black. That's how it's gonna look. Put it all to black. Even the top ones, make everything black. You gotta put the materials and put it to anyone that's like not see through, because then it just makes it really black like that. And like if you look like this, you can't see anything. And that's how the whole room is gonna look like. There we go. If there's like a little bit on the sides, you can just take your stacker tool and you know, play with it. Left, right, there, boom, boom, done. Anything else? Any other holes? Some more. And now the top. And what this does is boom, now I can see it pretty good and the top doesn't have to be like perfect it doesn't have to be slim at least so you can just take it slap it on like that 
At least that's how I do, and it looks fine. See how that? I don't like that. Go to fix it in my way. Oops. You guys might want to watch out for that. So don't worry about it. Just put this on, and we'll fix it in a second. Okay. Fix it real quick. Server's weird. Okay. There. Anything. Okay, and pretty much you just keep doing that up there. You want to make sure you don't do that. You have to do all that. But you really can. So now I'm watching out. And. Now you just disable collision, disable collision, smack it up. Disable collision, disable collision, disable collision, disable collision. You can also just no collide them, but I like to just, it's quicker to hold T for me. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just to where they don't know what the thing, what's going on. there that should be good for now and if you really want it perfect then all you have to do is make it perfect but I'm not too worried because I'm just on here to make this tutorial if you're this far in the video like the video to say hi I'm just building Enjoy building. Building's like what makes Gmod. Front and oh my god, oh, I just got kicked. Right. Left. Right. Oh, that was stupid. Front. Behind. Okay, and that part's done now. That was the easiest part. Material. Sorry if I'm building slow. I'm just taking my sweet time. Okay, and now. You want to go here. Where is my... Okay, I need to get my precision tool. Precision this pretty far. There we go. Now I can open it. And that's what they see. Okay, so that's how the base looks like so far. Just to make it look a little bit better, we'll do that. If you really wanted, you could do it for this over here. Yeah, we'll do that. Like thinking as I go through this, because I, I didn't really pre plan this. Okay, and we'll do it to this one. This is just to push everything together. 
make it look like, you know, pretty much a, a good base. Okay, and now what you would do is like, since I have this, okay. It's actually really buggy. Wait, color. I just want to know where I am. Okay, precision. Pull that. Oh. Yeah, I forgot I had it so high. Okay, there. Oh, that's a little bit over. Okay, is that good? Yeah. Color, make that all black again. So pretty much now, what you want to do is you want to fix that. Now what you want to do is you want to take... Wow, this is not good. No, whatever. Now what you want to do is you want to... I'll show you in a sec. I'm pulling it the wrong way. Okay, whatever. There. It doesn't have to look perfect because it's all black. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to make fading door right here. There, okay. I wanna make that, okay. So now what you wanna do is you wanna come in here. Okay, you wanna figure out where you are. So this is, okay, so this is where it is. So now you wanna spawn, you wanna go, you wanna spawn this thing, this little one. So this is against it, so now you wanna, just come over a little bit. You want to put it right there. And then you want to put the keypad. The. Where is the keypad? Right there. And now what that'll do is if you make that black. If you make this black and that black I can but yeah pretty much they'll have to walk in a little bit and then we'll see it if you really want to do something you can stack this left and up and now that'll make it harder to see then whenever they come see it they'll have to keep our cracker right here as soon as it opens, they'll be looking that way. So you can, so if you hear them keep at cracking, just sit here. Yeah. And if you want to add more, you can take this right here. And I don't think you'll be needing either of these, but you'll be taking this right here. And what you can do is put that there, put this here, and put this here. It's not really meant for protect, like this isn't like the base, but what this will do is give you, whenever they go in, you can spawn this right here. And you can make a small crack. You can you can like stand right here and it it'll just like prove as another fading door they have to get through. So if I go to fading or fading door, I keep like I've never been on this video. And if you just make this right here. 
this right here a feed or it'll just be another thing we have to get through you can just oh. and that's my beast tutorial guys here's just a little look at it real quick say so i would have to read it well you would want to uh come out here and spawn this right here if you spawn this and just put it right on this then make it black and it's fine now so say if I was gonna read this I would run out I would jump in and that's all I would see is black if you would if you made those cracks perfect it would be really good and then once I figure out where this is, I'll type in this. And if I am. Oh, the keypad is. Uh... Wait, what? Hold link, that's why. 4714. It would open, and then you'd be getting shot at, and then you have to type this one in. And once you type this one in, you'd probably already be dead. So that's my base tutorial, guys. There's no, there's nothing in any any base, ex like any server will let you use this base as long as you have. If black boxes, back because if black boxes are allowed, because this doesn't have any one-way doors or anything. Just two feeding doors and a black box. If you guys want to see more, like and subscribe, share the video, and have fun playing Dark RP. Okay, the base is being read in, you know, so it's a test read, so. So pretty much you just wait. You can't stop him from. You can't stop him from getting in. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> There's a keypad in there. you found it there's a keypad come on good job you found it <laughs> okay so what I do is I back up and honestly I I wouldn't even use that, it'd be a distraction. And I just stand like. <laughs> GG. <laughs> they don't know what's going on. It's fun. Well, guys, make sure you use this base. Great base. You can scale it down, scale it up, do whatever you need to do. Fun base to build, easy build, just takes time and happy building.